Okay, so uh, welcome back to part two of the parallelograms video. We just about finished uh, the uh, uh, example over here where we showed that uh, by virtue of definition of a parallelogram, uh, ABCD was in fact uh, a parallelogram because we were able to show with the uh, consecutive interior angles and the given parallel sides that the other pair of sides was parallel. Okay, and so what I'm going to do is move on to uh, the final example of the uh, lesson, and that is a, a proof. Okay, so uh, as usual, uh, we have our given information. What I'm going to do with the given information is, of course, put it into my first statement with the reason. So let me begin by doing that so that we, we have uh, A, B, C, D uh, is a parallelogram, and so you can abbreviate that as P-A-R-M, parallelogram, uh, and D, E, F, G is a parallelogram, and both of those are, of course, uh, given. Uh, the second thing we're going to do, so we've put that into the uh, statements with a reason. The second thing we're going to do is uh, mark the diagram with uh, information from uh, this given uh, uh, statement that is relevant. So in this particular case, you can see that what we're after is a proof that angle B and angle F are congruent. And so the property of parallelograms uh, that we're interested in is the one that speaks to the congruency of angles. Uh, and so we know that angle A and angle C would be congruent because both pairs of opposite angles in a parallelogram are congruent. We would know that angle B and angle D are congruent, and that's in a parallelogram ABCD. Similarly, if we look at a parallelogram EFDG, um, we know that E is congruent to G, um, and we know that F is congruent to D. And what we can already see, um, based purely on the markings, is that we should uh, have the substance that we need for the proof, uh, and namely that B and D are congruent to each other because they're angles of parallelogram ABCD, and F and D, uh, similarly, uh, for the same reason, are going to be congruent. So now we're just going to put that into um, the statement column. And so we have angle B uh, is congruent to angle D. Uh, and we can also make, uh, at the same time, the statement that angle F uh, is congruent to angle D. Uh, and we could here put the theorem number, um, or in fact, we could put um, an abbreviation of the theorem opposite angles of a parallelogram congruent. And that is, of course, because we were given that both of those were parallelograms and therefore we can rely on the properties. Okay, and then hopefully you remember from actually way back to the first unit, if angle B equals D and angle F equals D, we can conclude that angle B is congruent to angle F. And our reason for this is, of course, uh, I beg your pardon, I started writing reflexive. Our reason, of course, is the transitive, uh, or uh, we would accept, of course, uh, substitution uh, as an alternative. So transitive or substitution, and that's the end of the proof. Pretty straightforward uh, proof using properties of a parallelogram. Okay, and so at this point, what you need to do is turn your attention to the uh, question press the formative feedback, and if and when you finish that, then you should be targeting the level two assignment.